Oh yeah, now this is very interesting. This is a very, very old one. Beautiful. Uh, not particularly, but you don't see it everywhere. This is probably the best exposure I've seen of it in this area. Particularly vivid blue. There's malachite. So that's stuff up there. That's malachite. That's green. Right. Yeah. Malachite and linerite. Amazing. And then a cocktail of both. <laughs> The cocktail mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> copper cocktail. Can't go wrong with a copper cocktail. With a coffee barrow. Yes. <laughs> what is the proper name for that barrow? A uh, hand barrow. That's it. And that yeah, hand That's barrow. Fancy. Yeah. So in the and believe it or not, uh, Harvey's of Cornwall. Uh, advertised hand barrows for sale in 1880, and that's what they call them. Interesting that the firm was in Cornwall. Wow. And it's all the way here. Yep. Look at that. Now those could be trace fossils. You do get trace fossils in um, in this shale. That's very nice. It's very unusual, isn't it? I think that, that those are trace fossils. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, it's quite unusual, isn't it? Yep. A ladder. And there's something up there. There's a level up there. Is there? Look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look above. I oh. just noticed from the other side here that you can see a uh, bit of wooden false floor through a hole. Oh, really? Yeah. Collapse coming down from up there. Very ferrous, these rocks. I'm the ex my oversuit is the exact same colour as that linerite. <laughs> Looking at the camera screen, it's the exact same colour as the linerite. <laughs> and you've you got the malachite something ones. Going that way, or? I think it's well, there might have been once, but it's all collapsed now. Look at the big chunk that's fallen out there. Yeah, look at that size of that timber. The green there. Is that a? Let me get my footing. Oh wow! Look up, right up, right up. See where they've ended the dig? Yeah, Circular straight thing. up there. It's all the black. The black is a mixture of zinc yeah. and manganese, I, if I'm not mistaken. But it's very, very uh, crumbly. It so is. Um, because it's a mixture. Yeah. It's almost like soot. And there's quartz in there as well. Mm. Yeah. Well, the miners did call zinc blackjack for that precise reason. So that's... Uh, wow. You think oh, you they're trace them. fossils? They look like them. I'm not absolutely sure, but they do look like trace fossils that I've seen. But yeah, you do get them though. You do, in this shale, because we're in late Ordovician, early Silurian shale here, mudstone. And you do get graptolites and other sort of, and, oh, and, and, and other trace fossils in it. Do you want to see what's around the corner? Yeah. Why not? Is that big country bean, huh? Not quite. Little bit. Did we get, oh, that's where the copper is, isn't it? Through there. Yes. We've been through there. Yeah, okay. There you go. Let's have another gander at the boots. Good prints. So the mine closed in the first decade of the 20th century. So they're not. Uh, ancient boot prints but they are still over a hundred years old and they're just perfectly preserved in the mud. We must go back to the amazing boot level. Oh yeah. Because we have lots of new subscribers now. Yeah they haven't. So if, we, if you think that's good folks what we've just seen there. We'll go back with more modern cameras. Try a whole we'll what 300 foot long level and the entire floor is just a mass of boot prints. Oh, something else. That's just something else, so we, we'll have to go back there. Oh, isn't it nice to stand up in one of these? Yeah. Not for long, though, we go back. <laughs> no, yeah, that's a problem. We've got three quarters of a mile of level to go back to get out again. <laughs> Bent over. Yeah. Oh, we've got those ladders to check as well, haven't we? 
Yeah, there's got uh, lots of um, dried out hydrogen kites on the walls in this level as well. There should be an energy chart around here. Correct. There used to be one. It's moved. Yeah, they've moved it. <laughs> Big one? Oh, yeah. Fresh. Look at that. Yeah. See, look, there's our old friend. What's it called? Um, Flucken. There you go. Look <laughs> how soft it is. Yeah, that's the stuff. Flucken. It's just a little bar of Flucken. You can see it crossing through the level right here. So it's clocked. Just yeah. a little fresh. It's all so soft. Yeah. yeah. Just a little clay joint. Alright. Amazing. I can see something up here. Well, the engine shaft is still here. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, we saw it by its class. Yeah, no, it's still here. How about that? With the massive iron strap pumping rods. Check that out. Yeah, oh, hang on. Let me wow. clean the lens a bit. There we go. Oh. The engine shaft. It's still here. It's still here. So, there was a Cornish, <laughs> once again, Cornish, um, stationary steam engine at the top. And the steam engine, it was a beam engine, operated the pump rods, which are these big wooden forks. And then those working in a vertical uh, position like that went down below added level, so below us, underneath all this rubble, to the rising main, which is your big pumping column, the big pumping pipe, and operated a plunger pump within that pipe and pumped all the water up to added level there. And then it could all drain out. So, very nice. Massive thing. I'm going to go up and stand next to them now for scale. You can see how big they are. Yeah, there we are. That's them. Wow. Look at this. Can you see daylight? Yes. It's raining a bit. There you go. <laughs> so where's the big collapse then? Must be further on. But not that far underground. No. 80 feet? Oh, okay. A good question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's this down here, you yeah? uh, wooden thing. Oh, that's the edge of a drum roll, another windlass. The edge of a windlass, I think. I don't know how long it is. And these weights count like counterweights. Yeah, they look like it, don't they? That looks like a plumb bob, right. which is exactly that. Uh, well, they were, they use them to plumb the shaft to find out how deep the water was, yeah. Gutted. Yeah. Mm. A lot of rubbish oh, going on. No, I'll tell you what this is. This is a rod oh. for the pump rods to ride on. That's what that is. It's hey. not a uh, it's not a windlass, it's a it's a roller for the pump rods to ride on as they went up and down the shaft. It's worn out, isn't it? Look. Yeah, that's what that is. More things. Things in there. There's some super things in here. Let's have a look at some. I just spotted it. Want to go in? Got it. Oh, look at that. I just found a cluster from a. Whoops. Oh, yeah. A cluster from a milking. Oh, car. yeah. That's what you put in the other, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. How did it get up on there? There's all this rubbish. Look at it. Yeah. But look. Look at that. Ooh. Wooden wheelbarrow. How about that? You do with a wheelbarrow. Let's have a look at it. Could do with finding another barrow. Oh yeah, now this is very interesting. This is a very, very old one, very primitive. This we're probably talking mid, uh, early to mid nineteenth century here, um, with a wooden wooden wheel, with an with a uh, metal iron strap, an iron tire, sorry, an iron an iron tire around it. Very small wheelbarrow. So very similar to the one we saw on the um, what we saw on the ROV was basically a double-ended handle version of this small wooden vessel uh, this is a, obviously a wheelbarrow and the one down the bottom was a hand barrow whereas it has handles at both ends so it's just carried like as you would a beer oh that was a word I was trying to think of a beer 
for carrying coffins, yeah? Uh, a beer, B-I-E-R, that's the word I was trying to think of. I could only think of the Welsh word, which is elod. Um, but in, in English, it's beer, and that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what I was comparing the hand barrow to. It's an ore beer. We've also got a small wooden barrel here, and a very large spanner. So wheelbarrow, barrel, and spanner. Can't hardly put the wooden wheel on that. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Superb, yeah. isn't it? Wow. Amazing. You see how uh, how much this level is silted up because the 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 barrel is partially submerged in the silt. <laughs> I mean, the top end of it sticking out. What's that? Spanner. That's a giant spanner. Giant spanner. <laughs> Mega spanner. Yeah. The big candle at the end of it. So that would have been used for tightening the joints between the pump rods, perhaps. On the huge, yeah, huge that's it. kit that we Exactly, seen, exactly, exactly. Or perhaps top the rising main, there would have been a big system uh, bolted to the top of the rising main for directing the water, such. So, uh, yeah. Can you light up the barrel for us, please? We have some ladders to go up now. Back. <laughs> <laughs> so you were underground till 2 a.m. Yeah, this morning. What time did you go in the day before? Uh, six or seven in the evening. And we came out at two. Went back to the water wheel mine again. And now we're in this crazy. To take more measurements. And now we're in this crazy mine. And now we're in this one. <laughs> <laughs> the backbreaker. Yeah. Of all mines. But I've been in uh, taking more measurements of the water wheels in that new mine. So. Uh, Next time we go underground, me and you are in there. We're going to drag you in to see those water wheels. Yes, absolutely. Up these ladders we go. Yeah, so this is a rise from the 24 fathom level, but we're into the 12 fathom level. So uh, let's see what's waiting for us up on the 12. We need to, we need to film a uh, level of hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pretty cool one. Yeah, definitely. I don't think we've ever filmed it. The long, long walk. Very. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like this. It's upright, isn't it? Yeah. Apart from a pipe. That's right. Up there we're going. Yeah. 